Hey guys, this is Fiverrpone2, your host for this video, and in the last video we started out to realize that the Brotherhood and the X-Men are going to team up together to take on a common enemy, which we know is Apocalypse, but we really don't know much after that. Anyway, let's get our team assembled. Now, I always like to go by a specific way of doing things. Now, um, throughout the level you're going to see um, little X's where it would notify you as making some kind of bridge. I always have to have at least one of those. So, actually, I'm going to have two with me for um, specific reasons. I'm going to have Jean Grey. Jean Grey. I'm going to have Iceman. Iceman. Bobby Drake. Uh, which, that's his name. I'm just going to say the real name so I can get it out of the way. Well, I don't know all their real names, so I'm going to name who I know. Uh, let's get Juggernaut in. Juggernaut. I'm not going to bio everybody. Like I said, I was my might. I'm not going to. Too much work. <laughs> and, oh yeah, I need a, I need, where is he at? I need Toad. Alright, let me go straight, let me go stat-wise. Uh, Jean Grey, um, actually I will buy him a lot, kinda. Jean Grey, more so known as Phoenix. Let me see if I can get, I have, let me see if I have a skin, yeah. Phoenix. Jean Grey, a.k.a. Phoenix, member of the Phoenix Force, um, her ability is psychic ability in this game as Jean Grey. As Phoenix, she is she uses fire with you know psychic energy. Iceman, straightforward. He shoots ice. Anyway, he's Bobby Drake, one of the younger people of the X Men. So you know he has that cocky kind of personality, kind of like the Human Torch of the Fantastic Four. You know him, you know you love him. Who is he? He's the Juggernaut. Well, you know how it goes. Well, um, super strength. Big guy. I believe, if I remember right, he is the cousin of Charles Xavier, which is Professor X. <clears throat> Don't know his name, and I just know he's a big guy. And I believe in the X-Men TV show, uh, his biggest enemy seemed to be Wolverine. But Wolverine was someone who liked to pick a fight. And Toad. Don't know his name either. I know he's some sort of Australian, if I remember right. And he's kind of weird. He hops and he uses his tongue to fight. He also can spit out poison. He has poison spit. As you can see, at level 14, we can unlock mucus spit. And tongue. Uh, at 15. But, uh, frog, toad, pretty much the same thing, eh? Oh, here's what I meant earlier. Like, let's say I wanted to assign hammer kick to B instead. You can do that. But I always keep the moves the way they are. Anyway, actually... Yeah, I'll wait till I go to them. Anyway, let's continue. We're gonna bust them up, dude. Yeah, my game's a little slow. It's kind of old. Every time you choose a character or a team, it's a random character that says whatever. Right. Yep, see? Look at me. Hopping around. Hopping, hopping, hopping around. All right, let's talk to ST. Well, that sounds really stupid. Sabertooth. What took you so long? Were you busy talking with your new ex-buddies? <clears throat> One more thing, uh, some characters will have different conversations depending on it, whether they're talking to an X-Man or, uh, a Brotherhood member. Like, Sabretooth would be talking all rudish to, let's say, like, Wolverine or Iceman or Jean Grey, but whether it be, but he would talk completely different, uh, 20 times different, whether he'd be talking to Magneto, Scarlet Witch, Juggernaut, Toad, I think I just named all the Brotherhood right there. Alright, anyway, if you're about to ask for help, Sabretooth, that's no way to start. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Listen, a couple of hours ago, I went to Genosha to rescue Blink, but we kind of got caught up in a fight with guards. That's exactly why you never get covert missions. <laughs> you can take your covert missions and... Show them up your ass! Anyway, during the fight, Blink got hit just as she was going to teleport us to the dead zone. She disappeared, and I wound up having to fight my way out of there on my own. So you want us to search the dead zone for Blink? Yeah, that's just what I want. Go use the mission computer if you want a full briefing. Alright, while this briefing goes on, I'm going to look at my paper of, uh, what? Why'd you try to rescue Blink? Let's learn all this extra crap. What are you talking about? Let's face facts. Rescuing people really isn't your style. <clears throat> Maybe it ain't. But I wasn't about to leave the kid unprotected. There's no telling what Apocalypse would do to her. 
Oh, whenever I don't say anything, it says continue, so don't worry about it. How did Blink wind up in the dead zone? When I was trying to get her out of Genosha, a bunch of apocalypse guards jumped us. And that's when Blink tried to teleport you to the dead zone? Yeah, but she got clobbered by a guard. Next thing I know, she's gone, and I'm left there on my own. <laughs> Sounds tough. And let me tell you, the guard that hit Blink ain't ever gonna draw another breath without the help of a machine, if you catch my drift. Yeah, Sabretooth is actually kind of scary. I kind of like his modern day look. I mean, his old school comic book look is pretty cool too, but I like his modern day look in this game. When did you first meet Blink? Hmm. I found her a couple of years back at some mutant testing facility. I was doing some recon work for Magneto. Poor kid was in a cell, all helpless and alone. So I busted her out of the joint. <clears throat> Sorry. But weren't there other mutants at the testing facility? Why didn't you free them? She was a defenseless kid. Didn't have no one to help her. Now shut up about it. You're giving me a headache. What's the dead zone? It's where the air fleets of Magneto and Apocalypse had their last big battle. The ground's covered with crashed ships. Why is that? Even though Magneto's aircraft weren't that high tech, his pilots put up a hell of a fight. So Apocalypse fired off an EMP bomb that fried ships on both sides. Alright, talk to you later, Sabertooth. Yeah. Well, never would be too soon for me. <coughs> yeah. I'm not getting sick, I promise. I'm on a roll. Anyway, briefing. I'm going to look over my little paper while it's going on. So if you hear a little... Uh, in the background, it's me. Sabretooth has just informed us that a citizen of Genosha has escaped. Unfortunately, she's hurt, and in an area known as the Dead Zone. Who is it? A young woman named Blink. Sabretooth had gone to Genosha to rescue her. That don't sound right. Sabretooth tried to save someone. Don't think too hard on it, Tiny. Because he wouldn't ever save an X-Man. <laughs> Question is... Who's gonna save you, Bullethead? Cut it out, you two. Let the professor talk. Let's get one thing straight, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. See? It's just like I told you, Psych. Juggernaut ain't housebroken yet. Gentlemen, please. <laughs> Let's focus on more important matters. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. She's a very gifted mutant with the ability to teleport. So she's like Nightcrawler. Only in the vaguest sense. Blink can teleport as far away as the moon. Wow, that sure leaves the elf in the dust. Did you say Blink might be hurt? Yes, she was injured while attempting to teleport out of Genosha. And that is why a team of you is needed to immediately begin searching the dead zone for this young woman. Good luck to you. Okay, we got our mission. We got to look for Blink. Pretty straightforward, eh? Now, there are... A ton of missions that'll come on on the way and briefings for all of them. I'm not going to go through all the briefings. It's just a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mission briefing. And we can look at it any time. Anyway, I don't think we're going to exactly go through every single briefing. I mean, I guess I could just come back and get the briefing then figure out what the F I'm supposed to do. But that's just so... That's just too much work. Alright, let me see what's at the dead zone real quick. I'm going to get that alone first. Okay. Well, that's Blink. And she's being dragged off by bugs. Anyway, oh. <clears throat> this is where the heaviest point in happened between the airships of Magneto and Apocalypse. When it looks like Magneto might win, Apocalypse fired off an EMP bomb that fried the electronics of all the ships. Aircraft from both sides dropped like rocks. Blink said here somewhere we gotta find her. Anyway, let me try to explain some unique powers. Iceman yeah. has the ability with his slow beam, which is what it's called. It's pretty much his ice beam to extinguish Let's fire. Let's keep it together. Sure, whatever. Just like that. Anyway, uh, let me go back to Toad. Okay. I like. I want to use Toad. Although sadly, Toad is kind of a crap character because he has horrid defense. I always seem to have him dying first. Okay, uh, oh yeah, why jumps, if anybody cares. 
Yeah, some characters will have d- unique uh, sayings, like, as you uh, heard, <clears throat> as you heard uh, Nightcrawler do the, uh, okay, Nightcrawler said, as you wish and will do, in the beginning cutscene, he actually doesn't say that, like, in any conversations, he will say that when you choose him, though. Okay, Jean Grey's been tough. Alright, okay, let me go to this. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> Alright. Some X-Men have the ability to create bri- bridges based on their mutant power. The only characters that can do this are okay. Iceman, Jean Grey, and Magneto. You just shoot with the power, and it creates a bridge. Now you could go all the way around, sure but... Thing, Sometimes, to get to secret areas, you need to use bridges. Oh, another complaint I have about Toad is that he's kind of weak. You betcha. And I bet you're asking me, why the heck are you going to use him then? Well, one of the special characters I have to talk to is Blink, and Toad and Blink have a unique conversation. Sure thing, mate. Anyways, let's just hop along. Just hopity hopity hop along. Break these things. With me, people. I mean, I guess if I were to oh, not to mention that his abilities, he all he does is double jump and he's quick. He really isn't meant for frontline characters, so I kind of wish they did a little better with Toad, but they didn't, and unfortunately, I have nothing to do about with it. Let's sure, whatever. Let's go to G. Okay. For the char- if you know a character that can't fly, like, for those of you, Jean Grey slash... <laughs> so it's kind of funny, though. I will give him that. Uh, yeah, characters like Jean Grey can carry people and uh, throw them around like Magneto, but that's not what I was going to talk about. For those, for those characters that you know that can fly, like Phoenix, Sun, or I'm gonna call, if I call Jean Grey Phoenix, don't be offended by it, because that's just what I'll do. But uh, characters like Phoenix, uh, uh, Magneto, Sunfire, characters like them that can fly, they won't, unfortunately what's stupid about this game is that they won't start out fly, able to fly. Shut up, Gene. They won't start out able to fly. You have to actually level up and... Oh my freaking... Uh, you have to actually level up and get them that way. But, you know. They can't fly, so I don't think they won't fly. And it drains a crap ton of energy at like when you first get the ability, but... Later on, flying will actually be quite helpful, and it won't take up too much energy. There we go. Yep, okay. Well, Jean Grey is level 2. She learned this. Which I don't quite know what it does. It's a passive skill and all. That's all I know so far. Anyway, well, if you if you haven't seen... No, if, if you haven't noticed this bug... Okay, anyway. That must be Blink! But she's unconscious. We'll have to work too fast if we're going to save her from those animals. I don't want to do a stereotypical female and, uh, impression because... Yeah, this game can get kind of loud. It's going to interrupt my commentary. I'm sorry. Uh, I've got to turn it down a bit. All right, let's... Well... Rod, stick together, people. Toad's got the conversation with Blink. Wow, do I have a headache. Oh, hi, Toad. What are you doing in Genosha? Oh, and the re- there's also another reason I'm doing these special conversations. It's so that I don't have to talk in these horrible accent- er, er, horrible voice actings. Kid, I hate to tell you, but this ain't Genosha. It's a dead zone. Is a dead zone. What? <laughs> no, I was just in Genosha. Mr. Creed had come to save me. That was hours ago. Sabretooth had tried to save you, but the oaf brought half of Apocalypse's guards down on you. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Mr. Creed's not exactly the quiet type, is he? That he ain't. 
He should have me come along to help. But when it comes to you, old Sabretooth, he don't think so clear. But, uh, okay, before I get before anybody gets the wrong idea, um, Blink is just a kid. I believe probably teenager age, if I remember. I don't even know. I don't know exact characters, like I said. So, if y'all don't like me doing this Let's Play because I have, ze like, little knowledge, I don't want to say zero knowledge, about any of these characters, you don't have to watch. Alright, why are you in the dead zone? Mr. Creed snuck into Genosha to rescue me, but one thing led to another, and we were surrounded by guards. Just as I was about to teleport us to safety, I was hit on the head. So that's why you wound it up in Sabretooth was left in Genosha. Gosh, I didn't even think about that. Is Mr. Creed okay? Sure, sure, he's fine. It'd be more than a couple dozen guards to slow old Sabretooth down. This is a horrible accent, and why did you, Sabretooth go to Genosha? I told you, to rescue me. Sabretooth's capable of a lot of things, but he's not an act of kindness. Or not an act of kindness. Okay, but, um, you know how Toto is talking in the Continue Places Place? Um, those would be gone, and, like, let's say I was talking to her with, uh, Jean Grey. Um, it would be at the bottom where it says Continue. I'd appreciate you not talking like that about Mr. Creed. I know people say he's mean, but he has a good heart. But they say the exact same things that Toto is saying right now. Anyway, can you make it to the sanctuary by yourself? That's a snap. I just need to wait a little bit for my head to clear. Good. Both the X-Men and the Brotherhood are set up camp there. They're working together? Wow. Apocalypse must be really powerful if Magneto went to the X-Men for help. Well, you're trying to say... Eh, just go back to the sanctuary. You bet. And thanks for saving me. No problem. <laughs> you did an exemplary job of rescuing me. Oh, crap. We'll be in my Your next objective is to locate the security codes needed to enter Genosha. It is believed the crashed airships in the dead zone will contain the desired codes. Okay, continue. Say, if you're looking to get to the next island, you're gonna need my help. Let me create two portals to get you there. Thanks, Blank. It's no trouble. Tell you what, I'll even port the entire team to camp and back whenever you want. Port? means teleport. That's pretty much straightforward. You'll be willing to do that? Sure. It's my mutant ability. Why not use it to help defeat Apocalypse? This is true. Anyway, Blink is actually going to be a huge asset in this game. Believe it or not, you won't be able to use her, sadly. But, just like she did there, um, yeah, right there. Press start, then choose Blink portal, then choose the use Blink portal tab. Blink will create a portal back to the main base. You can use this, you can use these to go back and forth between the current level and the main base. However, you must wait five minutes before the blink portal is uh, option is active again. Be careful in this area. I just detected that someone's activated the Genosian automated defensive system. Reconnaissance drones are going to be painting moving targets for tactical missile strikes. So if you see a beam of light, keep away from it. Any idea how the system was turned on? It had to have been deliberate. Someone reset the communication dish for the system. So if we find the communication dish, then we can activate the defense system? Yes. Keep an eye out for it. A piece of equipment like that shouldn't be hard to find. Noted. Anyway, it looks like we got a little... Hold on. Okay, I really didn't even accept, expect to run into people there. Alright, well, 20 minutes is almost... It's almost 20 minutes, anyway. Is it... Juggernaut, get back here! Alright, get rid of him. Come on. Get him! Come on! Okay, anyway, like I wanted to say. This is Fighter Group on 2 signing out, and in the next video, we're going to look for the satellite dish figure out who activated it, and get some more stuff done. I think I'm actually going to switch up my team. Keep a few characters, but not all of them. Later, guys.